are in the Carpathian Mountains, somewhere in Ukraine. Uh, it's illegal to make moonshine, and so this gentleman has been kind enough to show us how he makes moonshine on his farm. And for his protection, he's decided to wear a traditional uh, moonshiner outfit. So what we're doing now is we're adding water and yeast, and we're using the same sort of yeast that um, we would use to rise bread. No different, no special yeast. Um, it's warm water, not cold water. So what's it to leave you a boat? Oh, no. Maybe no good? Yes, okay. So, um, after the yeast and sugar, he's going to add, or after the yeast and water, he adds sugar. About, uh, six. Six. The proportions are uh, several gallons of water and six kilos of sugar and one block of yeast. Um, this is let to uh, cure for uh, about two weeks. And when it's ready, what they'll do is they'll add dough all the way around the edge and around the lip here. Um, and then they'll add this here to the condenser, which is full of water. Now, they don't use thermostats here. Uh, they do it by touch alone. One, action. It's been a couple of weeks now. Uh, the outfit has changed for his security. Um, assume this has been full of nice cold water. There's a fire happening. All of the sugars have been converted into alcohol. Now it's an idea of removing the alcohol from the water and the yeast that is still inside the mash. And uh, what's miraculous to me is they don't use thermostats. They control the fire only and they do it by touch. Action. And then they have a, collect, a collection container there. Um, they throw out the first three shots. Anything that is white and milky is, is removed. And uh, And I can attest that it is very good, high quality. Moonshine. Here you go. This still was made by his grandmother, uh, and it must be more than 50 or 60 years old. It's critical that they get the temperature just right. And it is amazing that they can do it with touch alone, no thermostat. Go. So this here is fragments of the last batch. This is dough, fresh dough that they use to seal the top. And this and the lid. And that's to keep the alcohol uh, vapor from escaping because it is very, very flammable and we're working with open flame. So the reason copper is used traditionally is because the copper will pull sulfides out of the alcohol vapor uh, as it winds down in water that is cooled. The water must ch be changed repeatedly to keep it cold enough to condense the alcohol, otherwise you waste the alcohol as a gas. Action! It's been Ooh, four or five you. hours now and uh, we, uh, we have successfully removed the alcohol from the mash. 
and we're ready to try our new batch. Salut. Go. So, uh, I brought my wife here to see the Carpathian Mountains for the first time, and this was a pleasant surprise we never anticipated. And I'm honored that we were hosted by this wonderful family. I believe any anybody from around the world would enjoy this place. It's beautiful, the people are wonderful and friendly, and the environment is... is breathtaking and the history is everywhere